Hi everyone, this is Dario from Palo Alto. Today we're going to talk about how to deploy step-by-step -step ZTNA uh, Zero Trust Network Access Connector from Prisma Access SASE to Microsoft uh, Azure. Uh, the same mode you can deploy in AWS and GCP and any public or private cloud. So the idea here, there is a two mode for uh, ZTNA connector deployment. One they call one arm and second they call uh, two arms. So what's the difference between them with the very simple uh, idea here? You have a workload in Microsoft Azure, for example, here up and running to uh, application or private application. You have a DNS, for example, you have a NAT gateway, public IP, firewall probably. So if you want to insert ZTNA to that workload or to that resource group, will be very easy if we go with the one arm because it's simply the one arm included one port and this port will be get IP from your local area network LAN. And once this IP assigned to the ZTNA connector, ZTNA connector go access to the internet by Azure from that way they can establish the ipsec tunnel there is a two secret and uh, key will exchange first and after that establish the tunnel establish the route everything automatically you don't need to do anything so once this tunnel established the user here easily can access easily and securely can access the application here by ztna connector and by this time once access here you can achieve all the concept of the zero trust network access by prisma access because prisma access by uh, ztna connector and mobile user components and all the components for prisma access will provide you the privilege access for the user continuous trusted verification inspects all the uh, traffic here as well as the protect all data and secure all applications so in another hand there is another mode they call ztna2 arms that simply you can uh, deploy ztna connector in the workload uh, in azure or any public private cloud here with the two port as you can see here so the port they call uh, port uh, 2 will assign to the one uh, uh, subnet then other port will assign to the local area network LAN uh, subnet so all the traffic back and forth will go through the uh, ZTNA for two arm as you can see here so with that being said let's jump in the lab and do the ZTNA deployment one arm and two arm all right to start from Prismax as, as you can see make sure have the license for ztna connector that one from monitor subscription used then the ztna connector activated as you can see here as well as you need to go to the workflow make sure you have prisma access uh, application and connector ip block you can add it here as you can see from here on this little gear you can add the application ip block and connector ip block so i gonna use 164 for the application and 165 for any connector is in my system here. Perfect. So once it's done here, you need to save and push the configuration from here. Only this configuration need to push in the cloud because most of the configuration, you don't need to push anything for ZTNA connector. Prisma access ZTNA connector. So I will go there. I will start to create it from group. So first, as you can see, I don't have anything here. So I will say this is group so i get group one here then after that create so inside this group i will create connector and this connector will be here so i just call it this one ztna dash one dash arm i'm gonna do first one arm then i will put it in group one then after that create if you wanted to use the uh, ztna connector in your on-prem data center or any private cloud you can download the vm for ztna connector from here you're going to use a marketplace from the azure to uh, to use the ztna connector from there 
So from here, just create the ZTNA connector. Once you create ZTNA connector, after that, you have to define the application here. They call application target. I will leave that one later. Right now, I just wanted to make sure the connectivity is there. As you can see, connector here, they give me two key. Now I'm ready to go to the Azure because this license key and license secret key is very important to configure the uh, ZTNA connector in Azure. Let's jump into Azure. So here I'm in Azure here. I have a, a, a resource group and included, as you can see here, this is my resource group they call App RG. So in this App RG, I have a two application, App01 and uh, App02, as you can see here. With this two application, I have a DNS zone. So this two, my two application, they have a private uh, DNS zone they call ztna.local so first application will be app01.ztna.local and the second app uh, 02.ztna.local with the uh, with this workload in this resource group I have as well a NAT gateway as you can see this is a NAT gateway and this NAT gateway included public IP, uh, very important thing you need to remember the app VNet. This is my VNet. You need to remember the name of the uh, uh, of the VNet because you're going to use it when deploying a ZTNA connector. Also, you, my resource group, as you can see here, my resource group, it is in uh, central uh, US. If I go here and see location and region is a central US. This is very important when you deploy a ZTNA connector. Now let's go to deploy ZTNA connector. In the Azure, you can go to the marketplace and simply write ZTNA. So in the ZTNA, you see Prismax is ZTNA connector here. When you click here, and this is the option to arm one and arm two go with a simple way arm one as you can see here when you click on that then create now when i select my app dash group uh, resource group as you can see here and pick that resource group i get error here because ztna connector need empty resource group so don't worry about that uh, it is just creating new resource group. I'm going to say this is ZTNA-1-ARM. Okay. Then this is a new resource group. The very important thing, you need to deploy the new resource group where in the same region for your resource group, for your workload. So I just pick Central US. If you are in East, West, so you have to follow your resource group. So once it's done here, so I just say next. Now here, don't create a new network because you want to insert this ZTNA connector inside your workload. So from here, just search your app or your uh, resource group, and you can see your VNet, app-VNet. This is my uh, virtual network in my workload. And in this VNet, I have two subnet, one they call WAN and another one they call app. So I go with the app because right now I just wanted to deploy one arm. So my ZTNA connector will get one IP from this range. So when I click on it, now they ask me what's the name for this ZTNA connector. I will put it the key here. Remember the key from Prisma Access. I go to Prisma Access very quick. I get the key here and put it here. Then second key. I just put it second key or secret license as well here. This is very important because this is the first key we'll exchange between ZTNA connector with the ZTT or uh, zero trust network access tunnel terminated in a Prism access. So make sure this is, is correct. So once I say next, make sure everything is okay. So just create the ZTNA connector. All right, now my ZTNA uh, connector is completed. I go to the ZTNA connector here. As you can see in my resource group, I have a ZTNA connector and one arm, uh, one interface and disk. All right, now we can go to Prism Access and check. Uh, but before that, I go to uh, my app resource group, my application, application one and two, 
just wanted to make sure in DNS what they look like. If I go here, I see this is two application here. So if I go to the first one, I need this FQDN name. So I copy that one. The second one exactly the same. I just change one to two. So I go to ZTNA connector. I can see the connector is started. When you see configure error after that, you will see tunnel down. Then after that tunnel up. So this is get like three to five minutes to complete it. During that time, I go to create the application target. I will say this is the first application. I call it app one. Then the group, I have only one group for one arm right now. And I can see uh, the application, this app zero one. Okay, and the port 80 for now. And this application is simple, it's just WordPress. So when I access to this guy, you'll see WordPress uh, application. It's just simple application, just to test. Then I wanted to do enable as well. So create, uh, I think, I put a dot here, so now it's good. So I create another application, which is app two. Then the same group, as well as the FQDN name will be same. I just change this one to two. Make sure there is no dot here. Then port eight zero. Once it's done, enable as well. Create. That also get like three to five minutes to to become up. So let's pause it here. Then back again when the application is up. All right, the application. Target look like is up as you can see and the application up and running now uh, ready for test. If I go to connector should be also tunnel up earlier. As you can see it's tunnel up and pick the nearest location to my uh, workload US East. Then as well get the IP fabric from the block 165 if you remember. Uh, we get this, we put it this uh, block IP in Prisma Access and we get public IP as well from Prisma Access in order to establish the tunnel, which is uh, from Prisma Access, we call it service IP uh, address. Now, once it's done here, you, you can now go ahead and test. But remember, before you go to test from computer, from mobile user and global protect, you need to make sure you have a policy. So you go here and go to the uh, Prism access policy, make sure you are in the global protect and put it policy or security uh, uh, security policy rules for this connection. And then in this security policy rules, you can put it anything like uh, hip, like device ID, like source and destination to continuous verification as well, continuous inspection secure all protocol all the continue for zero trust network access approach should be here as well after you finish the zero ztna connector tunnel uh, and complete it so this is a very important point as well to achieve all the ztna concept now once it's done uh, here let's back to the ztna connector very quick and the application now i'm going to test uh, the user from the computer here as you can see my global protect connect to the vpnc.lab this is my portal here in prisma access we can double check here prisma access mobile user this is my portal name vpnc and as you can see the computer is connected here so i'm ready to check now the application so i go here in the internet then i check now app zero one then enter this is should be privately accessed as you can see is connected here if i go and do copy and do application two then i go to change this one to two then application two as well as work as you can see here so let's do and let's look up and see if this application get ip from the same range so cmd and in the CMD here, you can uh, do uh, NS lookup, NS lookup. Then after that, all right. So this application two, as you can see, they get IP from 164, the range. Remember 165, the connector 164 is the application. If I go to one as well, should be get from the same range. 
164 as you can see 34 35 here and everything looks good here as a ZTNA connector deployment with one arm.